from my lovely functional adult and the 5D mystics out there. We have some lovely messages, and that's for the individuals who take healing trauma seriously. So we support each other to get back home to our inner child, and we begin with this lovely rainmaker. Okay, so the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good when the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty, and benefit flow to all. And obviously when this is something not used in a way of integration of the brain, then we have the human suffering bit. Okay, so within relationships, we have codependent dramatic relationships within the world. As we see, there's a disorganized attachment world that's because we have a bunch of different places that don't speak to each other in a way of using functional adult love language. So they don't really want to negotiate because if they did, then they would learn how to come together from their ventral vagal nervous system. You see, if your emotions rule you, which is going to be very clear when you're not actually speaking to others and uh, waiting until you reach a middle. So see, functional adults, we don't get up and leave until we have achieved the spot where all people can agree, okay, this is going to work to support our human herd. So a 5D mystic in the Enlightenment. So age group, we take healing trauma very seriously. And I talk about personal development and self-help, but I also talk about the world at large. Definitely, if they had all integrated brains, well, we'd have heaven in the body. So for now, we get to do it one by one and with our herd as today's lovely quote from Sadhguru. He shares something very beautiful, and we'll use that as part of our message. If you are keen on doing something about human suffering, attend to yourself first. So become a functional adult, love yourself first. That's secure attachment. That means you know how to be around the human suffering, love, violin, and recalibrate, and you're not actually tolerating them. No, that would be the three-year-old you that's pissy in the pants for no other reason except for the world and people aren't exactly how you want them to be. It's called karma. And it's your unconscious stuff, and it's your implicit bias, political, religious, it depends, a personal, societal, whatever it is, it's a charge that's yours, not mine. That's why the Zen master with laundry, he has laundry, not me, and any other enlightenment. So age group person that has come to the bliss and is here with wisdom in their body, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm totally no laundry. What is he talking about? There's emotional, more emotions. The depth of me is amazing. It's called intimacy. Okay, so... There's wielding your integrated brain, and that's exactly how you get to pursue the inner growth mindset from neutrality, the advanced level, and beyond. Those are three courses that I have out there. One is beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Okay, so when the earth is parched, the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens and all that is dormant in the fields and in people's hearts springs to life again. So let's share that unconditional love. 5D is also Christ consciousness. So thank you, Jesus, for teaching us how to forgive, how to be open-hearted and humble. I learned that from God. I don't use the word as much because I don't notice a lot of humbleness going around, but I understand as a political science major and international relations and diplomacy master's person why. So we're going to leave society out of it. Again, personal development and supporting our self. And then who else? And also to people around you. That is the best way to start. So we start with ourselves, be yourself as a grown up right here, three year old inner child adult. And then with all our lovely loved ones, twin flames, soulmates, our oversoul, we welcome everyone. And when we have our friends, if they are borderline personality or narcissist, whether it's malignant or it's covert or it's overt, we don't actually use those words and say, hey, let me call you something. We don't use the word energy vampire either. Dark aura, that's for the mantles of mental health, the mantles of spirituality, the mantles of the 5D, because there's plenty of people who think they are it just because they have clairs and the mantles of everything yoga related. And anybody who's telling you there's demons coming out of you, they don't know about attachment trauma information. I do. So they don't know how humans made embodied brain. They don't believe in neuroscientists like Patrick McNamara or neuroscientists who explain to you how to be in flow state. We know spiritual and sciences come together like this. The staff is the symbol of authority. 
It holds the power to temper extremes, which only a flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, and stable brain can do. Thank you, Daniel Siegel. I have integration of the brain. Do you? Come be yourself if you want to do emotional accountability, self-regulation, and awareness alongside thought awareness. And yes, your mind is everything because the body keeps the score, but the mind keeps the count, and that's not mine. That's Vanderkolk, the score, and I think it's Lisa for the account. I need to remember that, but she wrote a book, and I'm pretty sure I have it. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so the staff is the symbol of authority. It holds the power to temper extremes. The staff helps you to find the right course of action, the way of the middle. That's why our relationships are amazing. That's why we don't have sagas with twin flames or stages for that matter. We also don't objectify our actual soulmate relationships or any of the relationships of our oversoul. And a divine feminine will know exactly every single energetic imprint of her oversoul, FYI, which is why we smile at ourselves when our soulmates remind us, uh, you don't know everything, <laughs> you silly person, you. And it takes a couple of them before you're like, oh, wait a minute, I need to keep that one in mind because I really do keep thinking I know everything all the time. And instead, I notice that it takes some time to gain new information. So you slowly learn how to keep on pausing <laughs> and pausing and pausing because it's really challenging and when you're like oh i know so for me though it's fun because my brain is curious open accepting and loving and so i'm present and i'm just getting excited and it doesn't matter what's happening if it's a emotion that is in a negative charge well negative and positives they're in the land of unflappability for functional adults so see that's why no laundry it's called the biochemistry of your restorative embodiment, which is my ventral vagal nervous system because I have a good relationship with Maria. My body, my heart, my brain, my emotional plane, six basic human emotions. Oh, and we consume content and anything that makes us be happy here on purpose. Yes, so we are selective, as some would say, picky. We won't be wavering that one. Oh, oh yeah, that's not... So solo poly, come on over. It's not because we're alone. We're just very specific. I'm on a high all the time. Don't bring me down. <laughs> I'll listen to your violin, but I definitely will make sure not to have you too much around because, you know, you're cramping my style, Eeyore. So when people want to keep on having you agree that life is shitty and you're like, really, it's not. And you're so low in vibration right now that I'm trying to be patient because I know that you really need a zero one year old hug. I want to give you that zero one year old hug. Thank you, said Guru. If you are keen on doing something about human suffering, attend to yourself first. Done. Check. Recalibrated. Ventral vagal. Okay. And then, and also to people around you, come here, zero one year old. I'm so sorry. Life is crappy. You know what? Tomorrow's a new day for crappiness, Eeyore. This is the best way to start. Yep. I know it's always going to be the same. You told me yesterday and you told me tomorrow and you're going to tell me again. And yes, all of it. Okay. Because people, men, men suck. Women suck. Life sucks. Ugh. Everything sucks. Okay, so that's for the people who stay in the emotionally lazy group, and that's the human suffering love. We bow our heads down in shame. No, thank you. In appreciation, for they make choices as we get to engage with them and say, here's secure attachment land. It's really fun. It's not boring. The liveness is fun. It's in your nervous system. You want to be pseudo live. Are you sure? Because your default mode network isn't really working the way that mine is it's scanning self and other in a way as if there's a line that's about to pounce you and you could get a hold of that and you know it doesn't get deleted but you can minimize it by expanding your window tolerance you know you could start going to therapy journal do meditation slowly take the time it takes to heal yeah the pro you don't know okay bye have have fun see you later okay so that's a functional adult conversation and as you can tell, no judgment. Do we have a sense of humor? Of course we do. Uh, don't worry. We won't tell the ones who are blue because the ones who are blue, they are so blue that they just need a hug. That's all they need, a hug. Then they share. We've recalibrated because we're tuning to our own nervous system, right? Tuning to a nervous system in the threat response where there's no line to be seen or in the biochemistry of fear or in the biochemistry of the apathy that they just mentioned they want to get rid of. No, no, I hear the words. My nervous system is not calibrating. That's why it's not an energy vampire. It's only for the people who don't know how to be differentiated because they don't know the physiological state of compassion. So they use their temporal junction and they're relating to the past with the past and a lot of stuff. So anyway, let's finish this one up. And it's about you. Yes, the way of the middle. And it aids you to maintain your balance after you begin walking in that direction. Yes, the staff reminds you of the impermanence of all things. Uh, sort of, <laughs> 
and that your authority, uh, yeah, it comes from a deep longing. No, we don't do the longing. That's for the zero one year old. We do. It comes from the depth of the core of your inner child, knowing that in front of you, you got another inner child and you're happy that you can support somebody with a hug and that you can make a difference in someone's life. Even if they stay in their ER type persona. Okay, so we learn how to share the playground. And that's because we're not disorganized attachment. We're not ambivalent attachment. We're not avoidant attachment. Functional adults are secure attachment. In the solo poly, we know how to be our own safe haven and secure base. That's exactly what it means. Differentiated three year old. Okay, so we do know the way in the middle, but the way in the middle involves that we are all emotionally accountable, self regulating, and aware. So you have emotions. I do too. Mine don't rule me, and they cannot. No, they can rule you, but I'm going to say, uh, can we first wait till you recalibrate to your ventral vagal? When, when you're ready to be back online, then we'll chit chat. What do you think? I think it's good if you calm down. Okay, so when people learn to calm down, that's when they're going to be in their prefrontal cortex, and that's when you have authority, because otherwise you're off, you're offline. You're going to be using the catch, cry, collapse, submit, please appease, the maladaptive child behavior, that surface content, the core is a shame blame, fault, and revenge button, which is all something you'll be aware of. Even if you're convinced of your chit-chat or you'll be presented with a person who's pausing, waiting, and saying, huh, hey, something's up, what's the mood about? Okay, so the truth is that we are all, again, pachas in the 5D mystic land. This is, this is who I'm channeling for. I'm not channeling for people who don't want to take seriously healing their own trauma or supporting others to heal their own. And you can't heal trauma with people who have low self-esteem and direct communication, they're passive aggressive, they don't know how boundaries are about talking, they, they do cancel and blocking, oh, and then they just do it all over again, yeah, so love dependence or love avoidance, those are not healthy self-worth anyone's, we bring each other together and we welcome, always a cup of coffee, like in, in Italy, in the south, Naples, Italy, we always do coffee, the northerners, they offer, I think, grappa, even though I need to ask some of my northerner friends, I got, yeah, no, only one of them, one good, good friend from the north. All the rest are, yeah. So right here, for example, you'll notice that where I have more of my friends. And uh, anyways, back to us. Okay, so thank you, said Guru. If you're keen on doing something about human suffering, attend to yourself first and also to people around you. That is the best way to start. So I'm lucky because I have a securely attached body and a differentiated three-year-old. And my Claire's are really awesome. And so you can tap into your unconsciousness too. Once you have, that is when you can learn about yourself and your connection. Now, if you're not grounded in your body as a human first, so if you just want to be around trees, go first to expand your window tolerance because that's going to tell me that you don't love humans and there's a misanthropist and Jesus is a human, was a human. I know he's not with us. So is Buddha. So is Sadhguru. And as he shares, you can go to enlightenment. You'll know when it happens. He got asked that and it's true. I knew when it happened. So we're all part of the same infinite dark matter, dark energy, and other people have other words. I like the essence of love in life. I do love still to use also the word God. I just try to respect the groups of people who will not like me because I'm a tarot card reader. I'm an Akashic card reader. Well, Akashic records reader, not cards, even though I'm sure that at one point I could use cards. Hmm, that'll be fun. <laughs> and past life regressions i'm a reiki master okay so the energy sphere is really beautiful and i am right now mastering my physical mastery so any mystics i have a shirt on hold on i mean i have a shirt on to offer to you but i have another shirt that is trying to fall to the floor for some reason i think it's drawn to, to interrupting us interrupting the flow state that's what it's doing okay so when you have a clear connection with your unconscious and you are able to contain that which is here, you won't drop to the floor. You won't get offline, okay? So on that note, the neuroscientists share with us what the flow state is. As they describe that, I recognized every time those panic attacks for me is the effortless part, but I moved to richness because I know how to handle Maria because I'm my own person. So this is where the practicalities is. I'm not a flat earther, though. I go and get the doctor visits. I stay connected to my doctors and I get the ones I like. But I don't dismiss sciences for anything that is on the other end. I'm in the middle. In between means you use 
a common sense brain and you don't cancel out something that is present because you think the ancients know more. Nobody knows more. The world is not about guarantees. There's not a 100% accurate anything. It's all probability. So you use your common sense is the way that I got taught. I still get told sometimes, don't you know common sense? No, sometimes I don't. And I appreciate those interactions, okay? So when you can see spirit in yourself and in everybody else, and that's what I got taught from Jesus and God. We're all brothers and sisters. I didn't have to learn it through my mystic stuff, but my mystic stuff opened me up to we're all the same energy. And then again, my oversoul. I know my oversoul. And I know when it's, again, different types of the oversoul. And we, as the jaguar does, we want to support, to protect all life, and that's why we take healing trauma seriously, because all life involves you and I. And again, the ones who do human suffering, they're not going to want to hang out too much with us, the human love, but they will come around every now and then. So the jaguar, the jaguar is the protector of all life in the Amazon. And in times of fear, she brings courage and certainty. The jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. She moves gracefully through the jungle, relishing the abundance of the rainforest, fearless and at ease. Jaguar knows the ways beyond death and is the master of the shadows, blending invisibly between light and dark, night and day. So when you're in your restorative embodiment and you're in a prefrontal cortex, you're a somatic empath. So when you're picking up on each other's nervous system, which is what a 5D mystic functional adult in the Enlightenment so age group easily does, that's because I'm now attachment trauma informed though, I used to already know, take a step back whenever I have met people that were not kind, and it was more of mind your own business, and that's because my nervous system doesn't get dysregulated. So even with my panic attacks, I'm not ever, never have I been offline, like the out of body. No, I'm present. I'm grounded in my humanity, which is why yoga, when I did it, I'm like, huh, it's interesting. I feel more grounded to the earth, <laughs> but I had the same perception. I'm just a little bit more perceptive. So I realized my brain didn't need a lot of yoga because I'm already a restorative embodiment, self-aware person that is living a land, living a life of curiosity, I'd add. So these two I want to share as well. The middle world, the earth keeper. And here's where 5D mystic, when they get told by 4D, you're not from earth, you're from some other, uh, you know what, I, I do know my other lifetimes, but I'm still from earth. Can we keep it real? Okay, so we know that imagination is amazing, and that doesn't diminish the Claire's, by the way. It just makes us know we're human, not some special, everyone's a special gift. You're a special gift. I'm a special gift. All 8 billion plus people, all nature, everyone's a special gift. We want to take care of our ecosystem. That's why the people who care, we're proactive. We're not out there fighting each other. If you're keen on doing something about human suffering, attend to yourself first. Come do personal development. Come do self-help. Help people who are healing trauma with good therapists. Come do Reiki. Come do, depends, if you don't want to know Reiki. But the Reiki, I love, universal love, energy transmission sessions. We have some. There's a portfolio of 12 of them for personal development focus. So you also want to attend to people around you. But as I shared, I think, in one of the episodes today, not the ones who say, you have to make me feel better, and then they don't do any of the emotional stuff. I can't make you feel better. It's your embodied brain. You have to learn to become the safe haven of you, zero, one-year-old. I can hug you every time, but when you're offline in your own structural dissociation, it's the time of catching that which comes up. Sensations, images, affects, meanings, behaviors. Thank you, Peter Levine. So when things come up, the little story, shut it down. Oh, am I upset? Okay, wait, let me go first of all and unwind not pretend that I'm not feeling this. What's the healthiest way to unwind? Let me notice what bad ways do I have to unwind and let me recalibrate them to healthy ways and with people of substance. There's a lot of people that instead, the human suffering love narrative, they're Pinocchios with ears and they're with tails and they're on the island. Like with Cusco, you go out and you'll see them living in the middle and that's where you don't go telling them how to live. No, because just watch a movie like Hangover or Mean Girls. They all think that's how you do life. And you got a Zen master talking to you about laundry in the body. So as long as you have that, you're going to have emotionally lazy people who are not going to become their inner child adults. And I think of that inner child 
did so much to get you to where you're at and then just gets left behind. Okay, so the Earth Keeper. Just as you're involved in co-creating your world, you are also responsible responsible for its well-being. The Earth Keepers are dedicated to the stewardship of the Earth and all life. That involves humans. So whenever somebody says, I don't like humans, then they obviously don't know about Earth Keeping. And those are the mantles, again, of mental health, mantles of spirituality, mantles of yoga. They're all people who, in my book, hypocrites, because they're not doing life. They're pretending to do life with pseudo-aliveness, and none of them want to get attachment trauma-informed. But it's only my opinion, subjective. So we can leave it alone, (laughs) and that's fair and square. They choose to hold the sacred dream of a planet where all beings live in peace and where the rivers and the air are clean. Remember that everything you do has an impact for seven generations. Okay. So I know a lot of people, they keep thinking the future is going to look like the past. Uh, They need to stop comparing things. The whole thing with air being clean and rivers, yeah, yeah, I get it. I know those extreme natural people. I'm, I'm a city girl, FYI, and I come from the future. That's what we've gathered, my friends and I. So that's the part of where some people are like, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say grounded in reality. Thank you, Bill Nye, or Nay. I forget how his last name is pronounced. But when he discussed the whole Matrix deal, he's like, even if there were one, you really think you're going to find out what's going on? And I had the same conclusion way back when without a Matrix. So I'm going to stay grounded in my humanity as a person with a master's degree. And again, I'm good with the woo-woo lady right now. (laughs) Our future is not yet determined. Life as the world is not a guarantee. What we do know is what year it is. And what we do know is that a collective comes together. We have a lovely lady who did, I think it's an economy donut that involves our ecosystem or an ecosystem donut. We have people that are smart in academia, researchers that are trying to do things to get politicians and all those people to know. So we are actively moving towards that. Sabine, I forget her last name. She's one of the beautiful ladies on YouTube. She tries to make physics accessible to all of us. And I love you, Sabine, for doing it. I still don't get it. (laughs) But I have your book on existential physics. So trying to figure it out, but she does her best. I'm sure smarter people can understand what she's talking about. I still watch her videos because they're really interesting. And one of them was on the environment and how a lot of people don't believe it needs our attention. I am in favor of protecting the future future, so I'm in favor of recycling and trying to do anything I can, but I'm not an excessive anyone, so I'm not like, oh, no, I will boycott everything. No, I'm trying to do it moderately, again, the way in the middle, and then to create awareness. And so, again, that's how we do things. The middle world. The middle world is a realm of day-to-day reality. In your day-to-day, every 24 hours, we get to do something. In the playground of the living, it is the present moment. You're in the present in your prefrontal cortex. When you're exploring the emotions that come up in the thoughts, and you pause, and then you have a functional adult relationship, Okay. And it is the present moment where everything is happening, yet the middle world is created by the future, not only the past, and it is a mirror of the invisible realms. When things are right in the middle world, heaven and earth support everything. When they are not right, heaven and earth must be brought into order as well. Well, we're going to leave that one because we know that we are recalibrating, and that is something that every one of us who cares is trying to support. So we all try to support in different ways, which is why I've been trying to be appreciative of the Human Suffering Narrative Group. 4D and 3D are here for those who will not be happy of sciences and spirituality coming together. And that's something that they don't even and won't notice, kind of like when I don't notice what's going on on mass media, the way that they talk about things. Okay, so the truth of how you vibe is really how you, one, consume content and interact with people, and that's from here, and then who's around you. But as long as here you're always recalibrating, you're going to notice that you are not affected the same way as others. And actually the capacity for have more of us who can stay in our ventral vagal state supports the entire world, even though it seems silly, but when Tara Brock in a summit, it was a couple years ago, I think, it was after we finally got to come out of our homes and start moving around again, and her and all the therapists that came together, they all talked about how we affected each other because we're a big sound. We're all embodied 
brains and we vibe. And I know that it sounds so ridiculous to some people, but not to the ones of us who know that we pick up on the energy that we are. And it's not because it's some made up story. It's you're a body and I'm a body. So the scientist people explain it a lot better than I do. And it doesn't, you know, take away from our spirituality. No. Again, if you overflow with humanity, thank you, said Guru. Divinity has to descend. It's not a divinity in the way of the other stuff. That's for them. That's for other people to have. And any smart person will understand that because here is where you have humble. So I say smart, stable, mature, adaptive, rational, teachable. Means you know your worthiness. You use your human name and then anything that comes is a bonus because you have air breathing right now. <laughs> I have water, thank goodness, uh, and then we also have food, and I have a roof, and I have loved ones, and I can spread that wealth of love, and we take healing trauma seriously here at IHP, so my focus is personal development and self-help, I'm a Chandler, I'm a mystic, I'm a woo, pseudoscience lady, and you can have Ask Maria, it's opinionated columnist advice, for now it's only on the audio version, but it'll be available on YouTube once we get to the 1K. And we're going to have another episode. In the meantime, thank you. If you are a mystic mystic, <laughs> meaning somebody with Claire's, and you want some specific content for you, you can ask. We can put it for the audio version for now, and then eventually we can have it on YouTube as one of the membership content. And I do one-to-one -one member mentorship. Membership, maybe at some point I'm still organizing other things, and I want to do some group also so to be continued i'm still deciding on how to organize everything as a content creator and solopreneur it's a busy day in the meantime content is one of the ways that i try to support everyone and welcome like share subscribe <laughs> let the you know channel get known it's going to be a mix always of a little bit of this and that and that's exactly why i forget if i already mentioned i got called a hypocrite for that <laughs> because for people who don't know that this and that are true so they're like Ugh. They do the split thinking. They're like very rigid. I'm rigid, but not in that same way. I'm just more like unwavering. And if I want it one way, I want it one way. And I don't see why I have to compromise. Depends what we're talking about. But so that's where my three-year-old comes into the mix. But it's my 24 hours. It's not about other stuff. Anyways, side note to have some laughs. Thank you for stopping by. And we'll be back again with more.